Flame Emission Spectroscopy by kscience.com. Here is a sample of polluted water from a water company. This sample of polluted water can be placed in a spectrometer. And when this sample of polluted water is heated in a flame, a line spectrum is produced. This is a basic form of a line spectrum. A line spectrum shows the characteristic wavelength of light each metal ion absorbs and releases. This line spectrum needs to be compared against the line spectra of known metals from a database. Flame emission spectroscopy can trace heavy metals to a mass of 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 9 grams. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what happens to the metal ions when heated? This shows the electronic configuration of lithium. And when lithium is heated in a flame, the outer electron is excited to a higher energy level. So the electron is excited to a higher energy level because lithium is heated in a flame. This electron is not stable at the higher energy level. So the electron falls back to the lower energy level. So this electron falls back to the lower energy level. When this happens, light is emitted. The light energy is passed through a spectroscope analyzing the wavelengths of light and different metal ions absorb and release their own characteristic pattern of wavelengths of light, which are shown on a line spectrum. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. A line spectrum shows the characteristic wavelength of light each metal ion absorbs and releases. So a mixture of metal ions may produce a line spectrum which looks something like this. This line spectrum is then compared to known spectra. For example, a calcium ion, a lithium ion and a potassium ion. So the line spectrum containing the mixture of metal ions is compared against the line spectra of known metal ions from a database. If lines in the line spectrum match up perfectly with the pattern of lines from a known metal ion, like here and here, that metal ion is present in the mixture. But if these lines do not match up perfectly, like here, then we can see this metal ion is not present. So calcium is not present because the lines do not match up, whereas lithium and potassium are both present because the lines do match up. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. How light intensity determines concentration. This graph has concentration of specific ion grams per decimeter cubed in standard solution on the x-axis and light intensity on the y-axis. So this is a calibration curve of a specific metal ion found in standard solutions. We can see how as the concentration of the metal ion increases, the light intensity increases. So as the concentration increases, the light intensity increases. This is a calibration curve of a specific metal ion found in standard solutions. 
So as the light intensity increases, the concentration increases. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.